Okay, we're going to look at the theory of atoms and how that's changed over time. So 400 BCE, Democritus came with the idea of atoms, meaning indivisible particles. And then in 1803, Dalton came with the idea that there's different types of atoms which can be joined together to make compounds. And then Thomson discovered the electron. When he discovered the electron, he came up with a plum pudding model, which is a, a cloud of positive charge with the negative electrons embedded in it. At this point in time, the proton hadn't been uh, discovered. So you can't say that positive charge is a proton. It's just a cloud of positive charge. And then the alpha particle scattering experiment took place. And this caused the uh, plum pudding model to be abandoned and we came up with the well, nuclear model of the atom. In the alpha particle scattering experiment, uh, alpha particles were fired at a very thin gold foil like this. And the microscope here is used to detect how much of those alpha particles go through and in what angles they went through. I want you to run this simulation here and see what you discover. So if the plum pudding model had been correct and we fired alpha particles at, at the plum pudding model, we expected most alpha particles to go straight through. But this wasn't what was actually observed. When we fired the alpha particle, what we noticed was that most alpha particles did go straight through. However, one ten thousand were deflected back by more than 90 degrees. So some were just going straight towards the nucleus and there, and then they were deflected back by more than 90 degrees. So the conclusion from this, so most atom is just empty space. That's why most particles went straight through. However, all charge and mass is concentrated in the center, in a place called the nucleus. Now you can see the alpha particles approaching the nucleus. The closer they got to the nucleus, the more they'll be deflected. So this one is very close, so it will be deflected back that way. While if it's further away, it might be deflected a lot less.